It strikes fast and without much warning, and it can sweep through your entire house, making everyone in the family sick. This week, we're talking about the stomach bug. WENY's Renata Steele talks with an ardent health pediatrician about how it can spread like wildfire. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Your Community Health. I am talking to Dr. Jeffrey Gardner here at Arnett Health, Eastside Family Medicine. Dr. Gardner, you are a pediatrician here in the Elmira area. And this week we are talking about uh, a virus that, that does affect children. It can really affect everyone though. It, I think most people know of it as the stomach bug. It is very unpleasant. We're talking about norovirus this week. Norovirus is a highly contagious virus, and as you're saying, it's a very, very common virus. And it is, and anyone can get the norovirus. And it is, as you're saying, the most common cause of gastrointestinal illness in the United States. And it is much more common in areas where there are many people in close proximity to each other because the virus can spread like wildfire. It is a, the virus itself is kind of a perfect storm in that it is, it mutates frequently. Mm -hmm. And so it is very hard for the body to fight and very hard to become immune. So you can get a norovirus infection multiple times in your lifetime and sometimes several times in a given season, which mm -hmm. usually runs from November through April, though okay. you can get it any time of the year. You can spread the virus before you get sick and for several weeks after you get sick, you may still be spreading the virus. So all this adds up to, as I said, a perfect storm for, for illness. So that's my next question. You just mentioned that you can spread it before you even know you have it and after you think you've gotten Correct. over it. So how is it spread? How are we spreading this virus around? Well, basically it's kind of, it's kind of gross to think about, but the way it's spread, the route we discuss is called fecal oral transmission. And what that means is very tiny particles of stool are actually put into the mouth. And you might think, well, how does that happen? Well, the most common reason is hand washing. The virus will stay on alive on surfaces for an extended period of time. And it is very, very difficult to put the genie back in the bottle once it starts to spread. This particular virus is very tough. It is resistant to alcohol-based hand sanitizers. So they won't really work real well. They're better than nothing, but they won't work real well. So soap and water will help rinse the virus away, but is not. it will not kill the virus. You talked about how it's spread. What are some of the symptoms? And you know, this is a very unpleasant illness to have, but what are some of the symptoms that people might experience? Well, the most common symptoms are vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. There may be fever associated with it, uh, fatigue, malaise, and the biggest danger, of course, is dehydration mm -hmm. with this. Fortunately, in most individuals, the illness is relatively self-limited, lasts anywhere from one to three days. Okay, and now what are some of the treatment options? Well, unfortunately, like many viruses, there is no definitive treatment for norovirus. The treatment is supportive and the treatment is fluids. Fluids, fluids, fluids. The secrets tend to be giving small amounts very, very frequently. All right, well, Dr. Gardner, thank you very much for filling us in on this topic, and we're gonna provide more information and resources about this issue for you on our website at wemy.com. Thanks for joining us.